Spawn, issue number 27. Let's get into it. A man, a religious man, prays to the Lord and says, Me and this hell spawn shall meet. He says that he will prove worthy to be on God's empire. He says, Your great plans, I cannot lie, they do fucking confuse me. <laughs> he's upset that he can only use modern human technology. He's, he's upset that he spent the majority of his fortune, you know, planting things so he could get into God's kingdom. And he asked God, why do you forsake me? A plane is ready to take Mr. Kron to New York. And he asked, why am I cursed? He walks through the streets of New York City, seeing people begging him for change, seeing prostitutes asking him to bang. <laughs> And he says, forgive them, Lord, for they know not what they do. Spawns in the alleyways holding Bobby's dead body. Bobby was shot in the head by Chapel in the Youngblood's issues, which I'm not going to cover that, but that's where it came from. Anyway, Spawn's obviously upset about this because he know Bobby really liked him and he really liked Bobby. So Spawn decides to perform a miracle. Spawn decides to resurrect the dead. Bobby comes back and jokes about it. While Spawn just used his powers and he's distracted, a giant fucking laser beam is shot through his chest. This reveals the curse. Personally, the curse is one of my favorite Spawn villains even though he's kind of short-lived. He laughs stating how he thinks Spawn was weak, how he wasn't an angel or he didn't have divine powers. He says he's merely a puppet of Satan. Let him rot in hell. The homeless people try to move Spawn out of the alleyways to help him out, but his body is denser than cement and he weighs nearly 500 pounds. Terry and Wanda talk over dinner about these files that he has acquired and how this will help him learn about the people's silence and why they aren't talking about what has gone on with Terry, how he was almost killed. He says this Spawn guy even knew his name, which is even more concerning. The curse then starts preaching above them, telling them his tale. Philip Cron was obsessed with peace as a boy. Even when the other kids played, he prayed. He even chopped his own arm off as an offering to God. The doctors called him crazy, but he thinks that they just didn't have faith. That's why he has an awesome badass cybernetic cannon on his arm. He also removed one of his eyes out, and then Spawn decides, you know what, I'm gonna shoot through this motherfucker's arm. Spawn stands looking badass as fuck with two massive weapons and a hole bleeding on his chest, stating that you better make sure your enemy is dead before you walk away, otherwise you'll think you're being chased by a ghost. The curse says that the devil's child will not take me, and Spawn says good because I would rather use my fist to kick your ass instead of my guns. Spawn says whoever's backing you, he's got one sick puppy. Then the curse says you will never speak about him that way again and kick Spawn in the face. The curse punches Spawn with this awesome blade weapon that he has, and Spawn calls him insane. He says, no, I've suffered enough insolence for any ten men. Then the curse thinks he's won against Spawn, so Spawn hops up, kicking the curse in the back. He totally beats the shit out of the curse and throws him down with the uh, homeless people in his way, stating that if you want to hurt him, you're going to have to go through us. Wanda thinks about the ways that she could help Terry. She knows the CIA and the FBI are way out of her league. But this Spawn guy, she can investigate that and see how she can help Terry in that sense. Spawn is so consumed by rage and his thirst for vengeance that he just plows through the homeless people and grabs the curse by the throat. That wraps up issue 27. Like the video if you enjoyed the video. If you didn't enjoy the video, well, 27 equals 7 minutes in heaven, right? I don't even know what the fuck I'm saying by this point, guys. Give me a fucking break. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bam!